tonight, exclusive video of an airboat rescue by Maricopa County Sheriff's deputies. Deputies struggled to save a girl that was underwater because the river was blocked by tubers and kayakers. Steve Nielsen looked into this and discovered that this year has already been deadlier on the water than last, and the summer isn't even over yet. It was the third water rescue of the day, and it was taking too long. Carly Bove lost consciousness twice on the bow of the airboat. The weight of the ambulance was blocked repeatedly by tubers and kayakers. At points, Deputy Jim Cesolini and his team had to stop to wait for people to splash away. Precious seconds taking away the new reality of a crowded river. This is becoming the norm that with more and more people want to get outdoors. Um, everybody wants to come out here. Here, the Salt River, a beautiful stretch surrounded by the Tonto National Forest. Wild horses roam the shore under the shadow of the superstitions. It's remote, it's peaceful, and it's fun. This is my patrol beat, and look, you can't beat this. Lake Patrol, a division of the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office that responds to some of the most challenging rescues. Deputy Cecilini and Clint Bradshaw showed us how they get to where cars and sometimes even helicopters can't. The airboats are their tools to find and save lives in hard to reach places. We don't launch this boat just to drive up and down the river. We're usually using it for a rescue mission. With the foot on the pedal and the hand on the steering rod, they took us on patrol to reveal the extreme challenges they face. It's a Corvette engine attached to fan blades on the back, which propel it forward. At times, a response can be minor, like alerting a family their ATVs in a protected area. Everything east of that road is is no motorized vehicles. The other times, they'll chat with kids and parents about water safety. This is a police boat. But these are just brief moments of reprieve from the rescues that are becoming more and more regular. Tell those people to watch out, watch their legs, watch their legs. According to data from MCSO, so far, medical calls for Lake Patrol are up 14% year over year. Missing persons responses are up 19%. Search and rescue operations, those are up 22% this year. But drownings have increased the most. In all of 2020, Lake Patrol had 10 drownings. Through just June this year, there have already been 17. Even on a slow day, it can be crowded. Holidays are another story. On Memorial Day, we'll have anywhere from 10 to 30,000 people. Just going upriver requires intense concentration. There is time for it to wall to wall tubers, and you literally can't get by. That's what the body cam revealed while deputies tried to reach Carly on May 30th. Just ahead on the shore, deputies told tubers to get out of the way. Guys, clear the way. There is a boat coming. Get to the shore. From the boat, we see Deputy Manuel Madrigal navigating the water. Cecilini is directing tubers. Some scramble to get out of the way, and others just sit there. There's no other way to get to people without this capabilities. If we didn't have this airboat, people would be stuck on the side of shorelines. After nearly eight minutes, they arrive and get Carly on board, but the way out is blocked. We don't have brakes, so we can't stop. We can't go in reverse. They, get a chance, right? they finally get going again, continuing to fight through the crowds while CPR begins. Cecilini later showed us why he put himself at the bow of the boat. Somebody had to protect her to keep her from falling in. So I took that job and positioned myself backwards on the bow so that I could keep anything from happening in case we hit a rock or uh, wind gusts or river current. It takes another eight minutes before the airboat gets to the waiting ambulance. Deputy Madrigal calls Carly's mother from his cruiser. We started CPR, we got a pulse back. She was breathing, she was breathing way too fast. A month after the rescue, Fox 10 captured this, a tearful hug between a family and deputies thanks to a stressful 15-minute airboat rescue. Carly survived. Cecilini's chest compressions revived her. We need to go, we need to go. I don't want to lose her, and we did everything we could. An emotional rescue and thank you. Something in my heart that really told me these people saved your life, like you need to thank them. She was moments away from being another number in a column in a year of increased drownings. 
And it may not slow down as Arizona's population explodes. Cecilini has a clear message as more and more people come out to have fun on the water. Wear a life jacket. Carly wasn't. She knows she only survived because the airboat got there in time. Steve Nielsen, Fox 10 News. By the way, you can watch the body camera video of the full rescue. Deputies racing to get to Carly and through the crowded river back to the ambulance. The full video is about 16 minutes long. We've posted it on the Fox 10 YouTube page.